Hello, I'm excited to come your way one more time on the subject, Can You Lose Your Salvation? It's been an exciting journey looking at these verities. We've looked at about 32 reasons you cannot lose your salvation. Now remember, we are not talking about these things just to oppose some thought patterns out there. It is so much about establishing you in the certainty of your salvation which Christ has achieved for you. Glory to God. Reason number 33 that you cannot lose your salvation. Let's look at the scripture. Luke 19 verse 10. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. This reveals the idea that we cannot lose our salvation because Christ really came to save the lost. Christ came to save the lost. How can Christ now coming to save the lost lose that lost soul which is spent all of his time from eternity past into time to bring that salvation to you how then are you going to lose that salvation so jesus came to save the lost and for that matter the lost who has been saved cannot lose his salvation reason number 34 you cannot lose your salvation you can't lose your salvation because it is the Father's will that Christ should lose nothing. That is the will of the Father. It is the predestined plan of the Father. It is in his eternal counsel that that which Christ gains shall not be lost. Now the focus here is not just about Christ not losing. It is about the will of the Father. So it is the will of the Father that you are not to lose your salvation. Glory to God. Look at the scripture. In John 6, 39. And this is the Father's will, which hath, which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. So it is the will of the Father that Christ should lose nothing. Reason number 35, you cannot lose your salvation. You can't lose your salvation because we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Christ once for all. Hebrews 10, 10 establishes it more. It says, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. So by the sanctification through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ, you cannot lose your salvation. It is done once and for all. It wasn't something that was done over, that has to be done over and over again. Christ offered his, himself as a sacrifice for your salvation once and for all. Reason number 36, you cannot lose your salvation. The believer is perfected forever. The believer is perfected forever. So what Christ has done for you, what Christ has achieved in you is an eternal perfection. It is forever. That is why your salvation is eternal. Look at the scripture. In Hebrews 10 verse 14, it establishes the more. It says, For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. So it is not that Christ offered himself for you to be sanctified once and for all, but also Christ offered himself once and for all and perfected you forever. So your perfection in Christ Jesus is forever. Reason number 37, you cannot lose your salvation. The believer believes unto the saving of his soul. Hebrews 10 verse 38 to 39. It says, Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Now take note. He said, But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. That's amazing. So the focus now is that there is a but. There is no way you will draw back unto perdition. So we are not of they that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Glory to God. So our believing is unto the saving of our soul. That transformation that happens in our soul. So how can then you lose your salvation because even to the ex beyond you, you, the salvation of your spirit, your soul is being transformed in Christ Jesus.
Glory to God. And for that matter, you should know that the salvation work that Christ has established in you is eternal. Reason number 38, you cannot lose your salvation. The believer is made righteous through Christ's obedience. We see this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. It says, For him who knew no sin was made sin that you might be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So you see that the righteousness of God which you have received is a righteousness that is dependent on that which Christ has done. He knew no sin and was made sin for you. Now, for you to lose your salvation, then this reality in Christ must be reversed. But let me tell you the good news. It is irreversible, which means that the salvation cannot be lost. Glory to God. Reason number 39, you cannot lose your salvation, is that the Holy Spirit abides in the believer forever. Look at this in John 14, verse 16 to 17. He said, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you, and shall be in you. Now, the Holy Spirit dwelleth with you, and is with you forever, and for that matter, you cannot lose your salvation. If you will lose your salvation, then the Holy Spirit must be taken away from you. But the Spirit of the Lord cannot be taken away from you. And that is why the confession of David is not a confession of a new creation where he says that take not your spirit away from me. That's not a confession of the new creation. He said, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. He is with us forever and he will never leave us nor forsake us. For this reality, you cannot lose your salvation. Reason number 40, you cannot lose your salvation, is quite interesting. Now, when you look at the book of Psalms, chapter 136, you're going to see that the statement, his mercy endureth forever, was repeated about 26 times in this psalm. It is written, his mercy endureth forever. And this is the reason you should know you cannot lose your salvation. Because your salvation began, first of all, by the mercy of God. So we know that by the mercy of God, we don't receive what we deserve. You deserve condemnation because you are in sin. But by God's mercy, he reached out to you through Christ Jesus to make his saving grace available unto you. Now, it is repeated 26 times in this psalm. For that matter, you should know that you cannot lose your salvation. Why? Again, his mercy endured forever. Reason number 41, you cannot lose your salvation, is this. God has not appointed the believer to wrath, but to obtain salvation. Now, this makes you realize that the believer is the object and the focus of God's mercy, not wrath. You see, because the believer is the focus of God's mercy and not wrath, God has not appointed the believer to wrath. But we are appointed to the obtaining of eternal salvation. For that matter, your salvation cannot be lost. Look at this again more in the in First Thessalonians chapter 5. We look at from verse 9 to 10. All right. It says, For God had not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. This is amazing. This is amazing. Reason number 42, you cannot lose your salvation, is that the believer is the new creation in Christ Jesus and is created in holiness and in righteousness. Look at this in Ephesians chapter 4, 24. He says, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. You are created after God in righteousness and in true holiness. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, he says, if any man be in Christ is a new creation, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So you can't lose your salvation because you're a new creation created in righteousness and in holiness. You are eternally righteous. That is the substance of the new creation. The substance of the new creation is holiness 
and righteousness. And that is the quality in God. And for that matter, you cannot lose your salvation. That is the glorious news. Now take note, all these 42 points I've given to you, each of them is with a scripture. Which means that even beyond the point that I've given, I've given you 42 scriptures that proves that you cannot lose your salvation. We're going to continue in the next episode and you are going to be blessed. You remain a blessing. Shalom.